So you're thinking about moving to Redmond, Oregon? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be covering in today's video. Today we're going to be going around town, checking out three different homes at different price points to give you a better understanding of the homes available in this market and what may fit into your budget. So if this video sounds like it's for you, then stick around because we're going to be getting after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Redmond, Oregon, then subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell below so you can be the first to know about the current market in Redmond, Oregon. My name is Ryan and I've lived in Central Oregon for over 30 years. My partner Zach and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Redmond or anywhere else in Central Oregon. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even set up a Zoom meeting. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Redmond, Oregon, or anywhere nearby. Okay, so we, we are in the Walmart Supercenter parking lot here. This is the northwest part of Redmond here, north end of town. And this, this shopping center went in about six years ago, and it's one of the primary shopping centers in, in the city of Redmond. And you can see naturally there's all kinds of retail that goes in right behind it. Whenever there's a Walmart that goes in, there's going to be other retail centers that follow suit because of the traffic that Walmart demands. But we are in Redmond, Oregon. It's right in smack dab in the middle of the state. We're at 3,000 feet in elevation here. We're just to the east of these mountains. You look behind me, you might be able to see the mountains today. It's mid-November. It's about 46 degrees right now, so it's not too bad. It's going to heat up to maybe 50 for our daytime high. But this is uh, what we have here in central oregon it's a high desert climate 300 days of sunshine a year we're about 15 miles to the north of bend bend has 100,000 people redmond's at about 36,000 people or so give or take but it's growing like crazy so this whole area is just blown up there's people from all over the place that are moving into the area from california from seattle from portland even from texas and so what we're going to show you today are three houses in the 500 600 and 700 thousand dollar price point in northwest redmond to give you a better feel for what kind of homes you can get with uh with your dollar in the current state of the market so without further ado let's just get after it right now Okay, so we made it to our first house on the tour today, and we're coming up on a home right now. We're in the, the northwest part of town, and this is a single level story house, 1,812 square feet, currently listed at $549,000, puts the price per square foot at roughly $298. Uh, the lot size is 7,400 feet, there is a three car garage, so that is unique to this neighborhood here. But you can see, this house was built in 2006, and most of these houses were built all in that range. Most of the houses in the neighborhoods here are gonna be built all along the same time frame. And so you can see that most of these houses are very well kept. We look around here, all within the same range, all about three bed, two bath, with the, the exception of a couple that are gonna be a little bit bigger. But yeah, these homes are very close to all the amenities that Redmond has to offer. We're about five minutes away from the main drag of Highway 97. Over there is gonna be the Walmarts, the Home Depots, the Lowe's, um, and various shopping centers as well. So Redmond is a very small town in terms of its size, and it's all kind of knit together, but it's also very, very unique in the sense that it's just a few minutes away from the Smith Rocks, from the Klein Falls, from hiking trails, and about 20 to 30 minutes from other various amenities that Central Oregon has to offer. So if we keep walking a little bit further here, we'll see the intersection here. But again, just a cute little neighborhood, very well-kept homes. Most people in this neighborhood are homeowners and it's really close to a middle school. The high school is about a five minute drive away. And you can see here, it's a, a middle of November day, about 45 degrees outside, and it's still relatively pleasant. So this is the first home on the tour. Now let's go to the next home site and we'll take a look at a house at a little bit higher of a price point.
Okay, so we made it to our second stop here on the tour today. We're about two miles to the west of the previous house that we looked at today. We're in a subdivision called Dry Canyon Village. It's a brand new neighborhood. These homes were built in 2022. The home behind me is 1,840 square feet, listed at $669,000. So that puts the price per square foot at about $340, give or take. And so what we have here is a retirement community. It's gated. And so we're a little bit out of town, but we're still right in the center of the city limits of Redmond. So the amenities that are offered in this neighborhood include a gated community, a center, community center, there's a swimming pool, there's pickleball courts, there's beach ball courts, there's fire pits, all kinds of things that are offered within this neighborhood here, but we're still very close to all the outside amenities that Central Oregon has to offer. We're close to town. The main drag of Highway 97 is about a five minute drive away. That's where the Lowe's are, the Home Depots, the Walmart Super Centers are, as well as Fred Meyer and other smaller boutique style shopping centers. And so we're very close to restaurants as well, but this is a little bit further to the west. And so this is where a lot of the construction for Redmond and development is going to be taking place over the coming years. But we're still right in the thick of everything. Uh, if you look around here, the landscaping out front, there's no grass. There's walk paths everywhere throughout the course of this neighborhood. The developer did a very good job of designing this entire neighborhood here. And so homes are available. There's 169 home sites and they range from 1,100 square feet up to about 2,600 square feet. And so this is just another example of what type of home you can get in the northwest part of Redmond here, currently listed at $668,000, like I said before, but this gives you an idea as to what kind of home this price point is gonna get you at this current state in the market. So let's go take, let's go get in the car and let's check out the next home on the tour. Okay, the final stretch of our tour today, we're gonna to be in a Northwest neighborhood as well, Northwest Redmond, and we're in a end of a cul-de-sac here. And so what we have here is a Craftsman style house, 2,982 square feet. It was built in 2003, and it's currently listed at $789,000. I think what you're gonna get for the price point here are the views of the mountains in addition to a recently renovated Craftsman style home. So on the other side of the house, it faces to the west. That's where our mountain range is. We have fantastic views for homes that do have have that privilege of having views of the mountains and so this one is no exception in fact there's a big open field on the other side there's no there's no construction there's no development on the other side of this home as well as these other homes in this neighborhood here so you can see it's very well maintained people that live in this area certainly have a, a strong sense of home ownership and pride for their their neighborhood here and it's in a cul-de-sac so there's not going to be a lot of traffic here at all but again this home currently listed at $789,000. We'll go into Zillow here in a second, take a look at some of the, the interior pictures, but it's been well kept, it's been recently updated, and it just looks fantastic. So again, $789,000 is what you're gonna get this type of home for in the current state of the market. But again, uh, fantastic views of the mountains. And so when you do get a view of the mountain in this, in this area here, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, especially in the summertime when the sunsets are just every night, they're just very unique. And it's just something that you, you have to take in and enjoy because um, 
not many places have mountains like this and so we're, we're pretty lucky in that regard but that's today's tour so if you guys are interested in anything like that our goal here is to earn your business again you can reach out to us anytime it's convenient for you you can call us you can text us you can send us an email you can even set up a zoom meeting but again our goal here is to show you everything there is to know about central oregon redmond bend and the surrounding area if you have any questions, please drop us a line. Our contact information is below. And uh, until next time, we'll just be looking forward to showing you more about Central Oregon and Redmond and Bend and all the surrounding areas.